Can you say amen? amen? I want us to open our Bibles, if you have a Bible, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11. I believe we know the scripture, I believe we know the scripture. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11. Buona sifiwe. The Bible says, I will read from my Bible, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace are not of evil to give you an expected end. That is our King James Bible. Another version says, For I have good plans for you, says the Lord. God has good plans for us. And this evening I want to talk about something called the intentional God. God has intentions in your life. Praise God. He has plans. Intentions are plans. He is an intentional God. Everything that happens, God has a strategy for it. Everything that happens in your life, God has a reason why it is happening. Praise God. So you need to understand that God is an intentional God. Praise God. I want us to tie it with the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 18. Matthew 28, 18. My Bible says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Buona sifiwe. Praise God. Now, we hear Jesus saying that all power is given unto us. If you can underline the word all, all does not mean some. It means everything. So when you come to pray, when you come in church to intercede, know this, that all power is given unto you. God is an intentional God. God has a plan for your life. That is why you need to ignite the fire in your life. You are a dunami. You have a dunami's power. A dynamite. If you ask Brother Maruti, he will tell you about a dynamite in a bicycle. If you, if you switch it on, it will produce electricity. It to, the more you cycle, the more the light becomes bright. It is, it is true. The more you pedal, the more it becomes bright. But if you stop, then the light will go dim and even end. Praise God. So as a believer, you need to understand because God is an intentional God, He has plans for us, then you need to ignite the fire in your life so that you can tap in the plans that God has for you. Jana, I was saying that many people fear prayers. Many people fear prayers. They may come today. They may not come tomorrow. They may pray today. Tomorrow they may say, I'm busy. The 21st century that we are living in, we have a big problem. I'm so mad at my generation, the 21st century. People are so busy. We are looking for money. We never stop looking for money. Left, right, and center. We are so busy looking for money, looking for connections, looking for things. The Bible says, the Bible is very clear that you need to seek God first. Our generation cannot use that scripture. Our generation is gone because we seek money first instead of God. I remember those years I was young. Maybe some of us can remember well. In those churches of ours where we used to play the drums, those churches, 
where people could come to church on Sunday from morning to evening with no speed. They are just okay to be in the presence of God. I remember those days people go to for Keshas. They sing till morning. Those days where people could go for the prayer caves. Even for one week. Hana mbio na Mungu anampatia time yake. Somebody said you may go to fast and to pray and God is not talking but he was an intentional god his plan was to talk to you on day 3 and you gave up on the 6th hour praise god so you need to be a prayerful person that is how you can grow that is how the church can grow that is how your family can grow that is how the things which god has given you can produce they can be great but if you are if you are a person who gives up in prayer then you have a problem you have a big problem look at the disciples of jesus they were not prayerful as i said yesterday they were not prayerful out of the 72 out of the 12 Out of the three, no one was prayerful. Jesus went to pray. He came back. He saw they were sleeping. My friends, my encouragement to you is don't sleep because the enemy is at the door. You may be very well today and tomorrow you don't know what the phone call will tell you. You know I hate strange numbers. I believe everybody hates strange numbers. You don't know what it is saying. Somebody calling you from the other side. Hello. Are you so and so? You you can't feel well, eh? You know hey, it may be something else. So when you pray you are banking prayers and you are you are binding the things of the enemy. That's why the Bible says he has given us power to trample upon serpent and scorpion and nothing by any means shall harm us. There is a scripture that says you can even take up poisonous substance and it will not destroy you. Hello. Now, what it means, you may go through a lot in life. You may go through trouble and problems. You may go through things but because of your prayerful life then God will see you through because you have been praying God will never leave you he will never forsake you God is an intentional God God has a purpose in your life God knows why you are here Can I tell you something? He knows and that is why he has pushed you to come today. Because the prayer that you can make, it doesn't matter how long it will take. That prayer can solve your unsolved issue. Maybe you have been having an issue that has been burning in your life for years and it only takes you 2 minutes of your true prayer. to resolve the issue I always watch a station called France 24 just to see what is happening in the world my friends you are so much blessed I see churches in Afghanistan and Iraq they take a bible like this then they they tear pages because you cannot in fact the internet cannot even download cannot allow you to download a bible the place of downloading is passive you cannot so they smuggle by a bible in afghanistan then because it is one bible it is shared with a thousand people and it is an underground church so you are you are given a page and you go with it in your home you hide it You read you read you read you read 
after that you return the page so that they can give you another page and if anybody finds out that you have been reading the Bible and says to the authorities they will kill you in public but those people meet hiding themselves and pray the underground churches so if you are an intercessor you've come here and you say there is nothing I can pray for pray for them that God will see them through that God will fight with them for them how blessed we are in our, in our nation brother Maruti can decide to start a crusade here and nobody will stop him mom can decide to open another branch somewhere and it will be okay my brother can decide to to have a conference and it is okay because don't just say wow can i tell you something because somebody labored for you our great grandparents and those missionaries do you think they did not have uh, 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 persecutions they had if you go to Namugongo in Uganda I wish you can go there if you can go to Namugongo someday just look for some money see all lazima wende Israel kwanza you can go to Namugongo in Uganda and they will take you to the process of the martyrs how people were killed for Jesus they're there you can go to Namgongo. They will educate you. You will cry. And you will say, they died for the gospel of Christ. They were praying for us. Akina George, John Livingstone. These people prayed for the nation of Kenya. They say the church must be installed in the nation. And that is why we are free to worship. So when you come to church, when you come to gather and intercede, you are doing a very right thing. Intercede for your family. Intercede for your children. Intercede for your friends. Intercede for your church. God is an intentional God. He has a plan. The Bible says, all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. So it was given to Jesus and Jesus transferred the power to us. So when you're praying, my sister, when you're praying, don't pray with a doubt. Pray knowing that God has done it. Tell God, Father, I want this and this. And don't allow doubt to come in your life. Reverend Reinhard Bonke, one day in the 80s or 70s, he was asking God, God, I want a machine. I want a red car. And God had his cry. And God blessed him with a red bicycle. And he told God, this is not you. I said a red car. I didn't say a red bicycle. So he revenged and continued to intercede. So when you're praying, the devil can bring you a photocopy of the blessing. But if you are an in intercessor, don't put a full stop because you've seen what you wanted. An intercessor is a process. It is a lifestyle. It is a forever to a forever thing. Wake up early. My brother, before you go to work, wake up early. Walk from wall to wall. Wall to wall. Speak something. Speak to everything. There is a someone I was preaching somewhere. I told people that everything on earth has ears. Everything. That is why Jesus was speaking to things. One day he was walking and he was feeling hungry. And he saw a plant and looked there was no fruit. And he spoke to the plant. He told it to die. And it had. It has ears. Another day, Jesus decided to speak to the storm. 
and he told it be still it had another day jesus decided to speak to the dead person and he told him lazarus arise it had praise god that is why even even moses could speak to things hello so god is an intentional god but he wants you to ignite the fire he wants you to bring revival revival cannot be brought by just by, by 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 people it is brought by an individual so my beloved friends when the cross of christ crosses your crossed life your crossed life become crossed when you meet jesus you will not be normal you will walk funny you will feel funny you will want to pray every day i remember the years that i got born again sio kama za sai we used to be feeling so good going to church you just want to run to church you just want to go and pray you just want to have a conference you just want to carry instruments you want just to be there for god and the only movie was of jesus wa yake iko ya kiluya ama ya kikamba ama ya kinini but ile ya yesu ile ile movie ya yesu ya kwanza tuna watch thinking that even he is coming tomorrow we were very holy holier than thou i have learned these days that christians can lie i have learned these days that christians can steal i have learned it recently that christians can backbite i was raised up funny i used to know sin So where did we go wrong? Our prayer pattern. We started limiting God. We started becoming too busy thinking about our families, thinking about our jobs, thinking about I will eat, what I will wear and when. The Bible says seek ye first the kingdom of God. He is an intentional God. Seek him first. and all things shall be added unto him can i tell you something one day we were praying in our home those days we were going through trouble have you ever gone through trouble you don't have even food that day we were not having anything to eat and we started praying it was a revival in our home we prayed we prayed we prayed we prayed You know some some situation will cause you to pray. You feel angry and there is nothing you pray until you sleep. And after prayers a neighbor came and she said, I remember her even her name Mama Zipora. She came and said, God pushed me to cook for you supper. And it was matoke and beef. Mingi. We ate at night and breakfast God commanded her because of how what we were going through because we were praying praise God when you pray right now God will command something God will command a raven somewhere to bring you meat God will command things God will bring new deals to you He will just bring something open and gives it to you and tells you take this run with it. If you are a businessman or a business lady, he will give you a deal because of prayer. Let me tell you something. The more you pray, the more energetic you become. The less you pray, the more you are going to be packed. in a garage somewhere you may be a car but this name car does not mean that it is moving get me clearly a car 
there are many things that define a car. A car can be a car and it is moving. A car can be a car and it is parked somewhere. It is not working. It is old and gone, but it is still a car. And also a car can be a car in a picture. Sinigari. And somebody somebody joked with me Brother Maruti, somebody joked with me and he, tell, he told me, I'm going to buy you a car. And uh, he said, the next birthday, I'm bringing you a car. And my birthday, he brought me a toy car. And he told me, see, I told you, this is your car. Did he lie? He didn't lie. He brought me a car. So, you as a car, which type of a car are you? Are you a dead car? Or are you a moving car? In order for a car to move, you must spend money on it. It doesn't matter how new it is. You must spend money on it. In order for you to grow, you must spend money in your life. The physical growth, you must eat. You must pay bills. You must do A, B, C, D for you to grow. In your spiritual life, you must work hard. Prayer. Without prayer, this Bible is very hard. This Bible is very hard without prayers. Because you'll read it and you will sleep. Because you'll read it and you will just be like, like singing a song. But when you are prayerful, even you can run with one scripture and it will fulfill and satisfy you. He is an intentional God. He is the God that we serve. The God who commanded things to happen. Let me tell you something. All the disciples of Jesus were educated. They had careers. But God, who is an intentional God, decided to bless them in another way. So you may just be thinking that when I get my salary, thank you, you are going to get your salary. But because it's an intentional God, he can say, Brother Maruti is getting 50,000 and when will he become rich? But because of his prayers, I'm going to give him a big deal that you will become a python. You know a process called a python. You will eat once and you will eat good. That is an intentional God. So my encouragement, be prayerful. Be very prayerful. I always read this scripture and I say, when I die, people must cry. Why are you dead? The way they cried because of Dorcas. You remember Dorcas? She died and people started crying because of what she did. Because she was giving she was a prayer warrior pray about everything pray about everything we always sing a song hata tunafunza watoto wetu and we lie to them that tunaomba asubuhi lunch jioni we don't somebody was so busy this one is a very funny story he was so busy na alikuwa amejuana na mungu sana to an extent of playing with God and when he comes home he feels that he is so tired and he tells God father you know yesterday I wrote a prayer or father in Psalms 91 or Psalms 121 please read it I'm sleeping and he sleeps so tired so busy you you are occupied so when you are an intercessor, the time that you are very tired is the right time to seek the face of God. The time that you are in a big trouble is the time to smile and seek the face of God. When someone has died in your life, that is the time also to seek the face of God. Don't say that I'm now depressed. I don't know what to do. I don't know where I will go. Seek the face of God. And remember, the time that you are harvesting a hundredfold 
is the time to seek the face of God. The day you are buying your own car is the day you can come in church and lie here on the altar for eight hours and pray. Don't be so busy for God. Hallelujah. I remember those days we used to go for Kesha very far. A place that Ikifika Sanne Usiku, you are not going back home. Because dogs are many and mosquitoes are also many. So you must survive in that Kesha by fire, by force, till morning. And we beat the drum well till morning. Ukitoka hapo unawana tumalaika. Just see the beauty of the Lord. So I want to encourage you, everybody who is here, be prayerful. That is what will make you grow. Kama umekuwa na shida ambazo zimekuwa kwa maisha yako for some time. Let me encourage you like this. When you pray, those shidas will be over.